if I had to give you the double down cliff notes version on what I think is happening with obesity, processed food and lack of fiber is probably the two driving causes. And I think a lot of people think more processed food. RFK is not mentioning the fiber, but I can tell you that's key. The body has a system that helps not only prevent obesity, but helps with diabetes. And there are what are called L receptors that sit at the end of the small bowel and they sense undigested food, carbohydrates, things like that. So for instance, I can eat two or three pieces of pie and I don't have my glucose level go through the roof. And the reason is those little sensors, the L receptors and others sense that undigested food and they kick off what are called incretins, which are internal hormones. And those internal hormones work to keep you from getting diabetes. One of those internal hormones, by the way, is GLP-1. And that's what all these injectable meds are, but there's a whole lot more of them. It, those little sep receptors, it's like the homeostatic thermostat of the body. All of a sudden, the carbohydrates aren't getting there. They're getting absorbed because it's moving too slowly, which spikes your sugar, also gives you more calories. And one of the things that the GLP does is decreases gastric emptying, um, so your food stays in longer and so forth. But the bottom line is, by not having much fiber and by having the GI tract move too slowly, it's definitely leading to increase in diabetes and obesity.